So today we have the unboxing of my new knife from the Steel Will Knives. I saw their ad in a gun magazine last month, month before that. Went to their website and I wasn't able to purchase anything. Uh, a couple weeks ago it popped into my mind again so I went back, checked their website and it was a completely redesigned website with ordering and everything else and most of their inventory was actually sold out. Uh, this was the first knife that I saw on their splash and it just caught my eye and I decided I had to have it so here it is so let's see what we got inside all right it's packaged nice and good got a nice little box here we have our shipping label So this box is a very nice box. Let's zoom in on that so you can get a picture and get a good idea of the texture and everything else. It looks really nice. It looks like a high quality box. Uh, the model number is here. So not so you can actually see that. It's the 500 Bruiser. This looks just like a push slide box. Yep, there we are. Warning for the state of California, so I really don't care. It looks like they've got some Velcro ties, keeping everything in place. So very secure with the shipping. Here's the knife. Okay, what else do we have? All right, let's open a sheath and a certificate of authenticity saying it's past their quality control and then congratulations on your knife our tactical series whatnot this is actually a pretty nice box the way this is put together the way the straps were used to keep the knife in place were good let's look at the sheath standard belt sheath it's also got some molly on it so you could attach it to your pack if you felt so inclined also goes under your belt, and it has got your standard fastener here to keep everything in place. Seems to be a pretty decent nylon. On the inside, this material here feels like a neoprene type material. Not a bad little sheath. And then we've got the knife itself. so. Take out the cardboard cover, take off the plastic cover, and here we are. <clears throat> Let's zoom in on that so everybody can see it. So, here's a knife. Uh, what caught my eye? about this was a couple of things. One, the fact that it had an integral window breaker here really caught my eye. I love having a window breaker on my knife. Uh, it just looked big and bulky and huge and fantastic. Uh, the shape of the blade is pretty standard but just this implementation of everything really caught my eye. Uh, it's hefty in my hand. You guys can see that I have bigger hands. Uh, it fits securely, the grip is nice, doesn't feel too slippery, you got the G10 scales here, frame lock here, closes smooth, detents a little loose, uh, we've got two openings here, we've got uh, thumb studs here and it's also got a flipper here on the back. Uh, the flipper could be better. It doesn't... Ooh, that locks up tight. Let's try this. Yeah. So you gotta, you gotta snap your wrist to get this one moving. Uh, and the lock up is pretty tight. Let's try it with the thumb studs. Thumb studs are good too. 
sharpness out of the box. And it takes off arm hair right out of the box. So it's uh, really sharp right out of the box, which is something I always appreciate. <clears throat> Pocket clip is pretty good. It doesn't jab into my hand on the palm here. It actually fits in pretty nicely, as you guys can see. That lockup is really, really stiff though. This frame lock is hard to disengage. There's no grittiness in the mechanism, no grinding. It's really smooth. It's got a nice fuller on it. Uh, it's good shape on the blade. It's not loose, it's not wiggly. It's probably a little thicker than it needs to be. As you guys can see, the scales are, are pretty thick and then the spacing on the knife itself is pretty thick. And when you've got the blade folded in, there is lots of room down on the edges and it's looking like, yeah, they tapered the handle and the inset so it's definitely narrower here than it is on the back end. Good solid grip. The scales are rough without being too overly abrasive. Let's see how it pulls out of the pocket. Let's zoom out. Let's see how this pulls out of the pocket. Oh, also something to note, let's move this so you guys can see it, you can move the uh, pocket clip to, uh, top, to tip up or tip down, right or left side. So this is right side, tip up, and there it is, still room in my pocket, it's not overly gritty when I'm reaching into my pocket a lot. Comes loose fine. Blade didn't come open from the pocket. Clips open good. So just from the unboxing, I'm pretty, pretty happy with this knife. Let's zoom back in so you guys can see the knife. Um, this is one of their bigger fixed, or not fixed, this is one of their bigger folders. It was around $300, I want to say. Um, I'm pretty happy with it so far. Uh, it's a little bigger than I was anticipating, but that's all right. Uh, and we'll probably adjust it for tip down carry. I just prefer that. I have one knife that came open in the pocket and uh, it's the first time I've ever, you know, gotten a really bad scar from any of my knives and I just reached into my pocket and stabbed myself with it. That was really uncomfortable. So, this is the Steel Will 500 Bruiser knife and it is their tactical line and it is a folder. Uh, you can find this on their website, steelwill.com. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment below and I will do my best to answer it. Thanks for watching.